check. <laughs> okay. Five, six, and seven. You mean from last week? Yeah. I think it was five, six, oh, from the first week. That's from the first week. Yeah, I missed the first week. Page so. five, six, and seven. If you can, I'll go. I, I just quickly, I want just want to see if I did anything. Well, more. You want me to give you three pages worth of uh, answers? Uh, number one, three spades. I, I don't know yet. I just have to look at it. I don't have the answers here. All right. I thought you had them written down. All right. No. Uh, uh, seven, eight, five, thirteen. Give me a second. Seven, eight, and five is thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen. I'd probably say three spades. Hey. Which one has on my mood? I might say two spades. <laughs> I'd have to see what kind of luck I mean, It's really on the border, borderline between two and three spades. Seven, eight, 13. Second one is seven, eight. What do you mean? Six is 14. And five is 19. The second one is definitely four spades. I hadn't seen it. No. And five, 10, 15, 16, 17, three spades. I think it's really the first one is two spades, the second one is four spades, and the third one is three spades. You're talking on page five? Yes. He's talking about something that we went over two weeks ago. Okay, but I have different numbers for page five. I have yes. pass. So what is it's it's pass four spades? No, she's asking me to do something in in a in drop of a hat. I, I need time to think about it. Okay. Four, eight, 13. Oh yes, the first one is pass because she's got a minimum hand. So she's not gonna keep bidding. Right. But the second one is four spades and the third one is three spades. Right. Oh. And what is this? What is the second one as response? One club, two clubs is three clubs. You have to give me a second to think about it. I mean, I don't have the answers written. Oh, you down. don't have it down already. Okay. No. no. Six and three is nine, ten. It was I'm, I'm gonna pass. My partner doesn't have a four card major, they would have bid it. So it's pass and three clubs? I don't know. I oh, okay. Uh, seven, eight, 11, 12, 13, 13, 14, and three is 17. Yes, I'd probably say three clubs on that. Okay, it's all right. And the third one, one club, two clubs? Four clubs. It's one club, two clubs on that one. Uh, I have- Five clubs. I have uh, five and three is eight, nine, uh, Nineteen. Uh, yeah, since there was no bit of, of uh, diamonds, I don't know if my partner, I mean, three no Trump is, is what I'd love to play, but I don't know about his diamonds. So I probably, I don't know if I'd go to five clubs, I might say four clubs and invite him. But you have, have six points. points. You could have six. I have five and three. Oh, you should be do it. And five and four is nine, ten. 12, 19, 20 points. He has six. He has six. Uh -huh. I'm inviting him. I'm going to say four clubs because you need 29 points to make five clubs. I don't know what he's got. Okay? Good. Norma, you're going to have to learn to use the... Uh, I'm lucky I am just happen to have your face on my screen. But you guys need to learn to use the reactions thing so I can see the hand go up. What is your question, Norma? Um, this is a basic question. The contract is four spades, whatever. I so they have to make ten tricks. I have two eights in this room. I can't hear you because wait a minute, I can't hear you. Somebody noise. A lot of background noise. I'm gonna mute everybody for now. And um, and the what person who's woman, you need to unmute yourself. What page is she on? I don't even know what page you're on. She just said something about four spades. Okay, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, contract is four spades. So they have to make 10 tricks. I have an ace and king in a suit and an ace and king in another suit. Are you talking so, about leads? Yeah, I'm just talking oh, about okay. a general question. I know, um, so what I did is I played my four cards, an ace, king, ace, Are king. Are you talking about leading? Yes. You led, you led your ace, king, ace, king? 
Right, and that would make them go down. If and they I, don't have a singleton or a void, yes. Right, so I started with that. Is that a good move to do? Well, of course, if you're looking at potentially four tricks in your hand and you're defending against against uh, a contract where if you make four tricks, right. they'll go down, of course, that's that's the way to go. That's but I would I start, I would start, uh, were they both suits that were that were not bid by your opponent? I don't remember. It was just that I normally wouldn't do an ace king like that. You know, I would put it into play, but I knew that I had the four tricks and they would go down. So I did. In it. No Trump, you know, I don't want you to lead ace kings. No, I it was wasn't. Contract, yes. So here's the thing: you would start with the suit that your partner had bid. Right. If your partner, because you had two ace kings, you know, which one are you going to do first? Start with the suit that your partner has bid. If your partner hasn't bid, then go to a suit that nobody bid. Okay. Right? Because if you go to a suit that your opponents have bid. Oh yeah, no, that's another story, right? Right. right. Okay. That's all. And I would also start with a suit that I'm that I have um, more length in, because if I have length, then the chances are greater that my opponents don't have very many in there. And I want to cash in those tricks while I still can. Oh. Right. But they have a chance to get rid of a card in that suit. Right. That's why I did that. Okay. Okay. So that was clear? Yeah. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome. Nice, simple question. Nice, clear answer. I'm happy. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, why don't we leave ourselves muted unless we have a question? You all yeah. know how to unmute yourself. Can I ask a question? Yes. On the what this lady was just asking, with this on previous pages, is there where you recorded on previous page? You recorded. She's not talking about a hand that I gave her. She's talking right. about in a in a in a oh, in okay. hypothetical okay. situation where she has ace okay. king ace king. Oh, okay, okay. Right. I believe that's that's correct, right, Norma? Yes, it is. Okay. All right, I think uh, we've got 30 people. I know that there's more. Bobby, do you still have a question? Your hand is still raised. If your question has been answered, if you go to reactions, you can lower your hand. And I that's great. Raised it for a minute. Uh, can, how do we access uh, the recordings? I have no idea. Maybe oh. the library can tell us, Peter. I don't know if he's listening. I think Lee sent him an email. Um, Lee's been, Lee told me this morning he's been posting them on the website somewhere. I know he's posting them. Okay. They're on I YouTube. An email. <laughs> he sent me an email last week that he's posting them on YouTube. So what, what might be, he, so he wasn't on the website, it was on the, on the library's on YouTube. YouTube channel? Right, exactly. Yeah. It's okay. in YouTube under Massapequa Library. Oh, on Massapequa Library. Okay. Thank you very okay. much. And if I don't look good, don't tell me. Okay. okay. All right, guys. What page so, are we starting now? What page are we open? Should we start? We're just come down. We're, we're just going to review leads. Oh, okay. I'm not going to any particular page. I'm just going to review leads. I'm just going to talk to you guys. Okay. All right. So, we talked about last time what makes a good lead. And let me just let these people in. It's a different situation whether you're leading against no Trump or you're leading in a suit contract. So here's a general rule of thumb. Don't worry about the pages. I'll tell you when you need to go to a page. If you're leading against a no Trump contract, you want to go to the suit that you have length in because if especially especially um if you're trying to make those little cards in that suit good if your partner has been a suit i would suggest i had a discussion with somebody about this the other day she saw no you always lead your longest suit in no trump i say yeah but i like to lead my partner's long suit because this way if he loses out on getting a trick because I didn't make the right lead, I'm gonna get yelled at. But if I make a mistake with my suit, I'm only gonna yell at myself. So just in the interest of, of equanimity, if that's the right word, and, and peace, serenity with your partner, 
if your partner bids a, uh, bids a suit, especially if it's a major suit where you know he has five, if he opens in that suit, I would lead that suit. And the rule of thumb in leading in no trump is fourth down from your longest and strongest. But a rule of thumb is not written in stone. It's just a rule of thumb. If you've got please, please, be, uh, there are some people that are not muted and they're making noise. So please, uh, I'm just gonna hit mute all. Then I don't have to play detective as to who's making the noise. Okay. So let's say you have this and you're leading against no Trump. If you follow this dictum, fourth down from your longest and strongest, you'll lead the five. Unless this is not your longest and strongest, it probably is. That is not the right lead. Because if you lead the five, your opponents may take a trick with a nine or an eight. And they still have the ace to beat this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lead the king. I'm gonna lead the top of touching honors. These are honors, they're picture cards. They're touching, meaning they're consecutive. There's no gaps. And the top means the highest one. Yes, there is a difference between leading the king and the queen. Not in effect, I mean, in effect, there's a difference. Technically, there's no difference, but you wanna let your partner know what the best card you have in that suit is. I showed you an illustration of that the other day when I said, let's say you lead the jack, right? You've got king, queen, jack, and you lead the jack and he doesn't know where the king is and your partner puts the ace on it so he doesn't lose to his opponent's king. When you had the king all along, but you just didn't bother to lead it, okay? So when you have touching honors, lead the highest one. Why am I leading the king in this case? Because I wanna push out my opponent's ace. And then when I get control, probably not in this suit because he's probably not gonna lead this suit, right? He's gonna lead something else, hopefully that I can, I can grab a trick in. As soon as I grab a trick, I go back to this suit, whatever the suit is. And since I pushed out the ace, my queen and my jack are now good. And by the time I've played three rounds, the king, the queen and the jack, he may be out. And now my five and my four are good. So that's why I'm gonna push out his ace. Let's say for the sake of argument, I had the ace. Why they're playing in no Trump when they're missing all of these, I don't know. Am I, am I leading the ace? I have a very good chance of making all of them good. The ace, the king, the queen, even if this isn't a jack, even if it's a seven. By the time I've played three rounds, my opponents may be out. So always lead top of touching honors, whether you're leading in a suit contract or you're leading in no trump. You have choices though, when you're not leading in, in no trump, you will never ever lead a suit that you have a singleton in. There's no reason. Even if your partner bid it, don't lead a suit that you have a singleton in. In a suit contract, it's exactly what you want to do. You want to let your partner know, because remember, when your partner takes a trick, he's going to play that suit back to you. That's what you're supposed to do, guys. You're supposed to play back what your partner led. Pay attention to what your partner led. So if you lead a singleton and your partner takes the trick and plays it back to you, you're gonna trump it. Unless of course he took the first trick with the ace and now he plays back the king. So I'm gonna ask a question. I want somebody to unmute and answer the question. So let's say you lead a uh, five of spades. Your partner bid spades. Good thing to lead you with your partner bid. He takes it with the ace of spades. Now he plays back the king of spades. You don't have any. What did I mention to you last week is what you should be doing in this point. Please don't tell me Trump. Just, just unmute and jump in. Lead with the lower card? You're not leading. You're not leading. You let oh. a five of spades, your partner bid spades. Your partner took the trick with the ace. Now that he took the trick, it's his turn to play back a card. So he plays the king of spades. We're not playing in no Trump. We're playing in a suit contract. The contract is four hearts. Oh. You want to get four tricks, right? You want to keep them from making the 10 tricks. 
So you lead a spade, your partner bid it, he wins the trick with the ace. Now your partner plays back the king. You play a oh, card. You play the king of spades. Up. What do you want to throw off on his king of spades? A card a you want him to play card. back. A card <laughs> in a suit that you want him to play back. So if uh -huh. I'm sitting there, if I'm sitting there with a, a king queen of hearts, uh, sorry, that's the Trump suit, king hmm. queen of clubs, I'm going to throw off a little club. I'm going to give him a message. When you play back, this is what I want you to play back. So it's a signal to your partner. The very, it's called a discard. A discard is a, suit, is a card that you play when you can't follow suit and you're not going to trump. Obviously, you're not going to trump your partner's king of spades when the ace of spades has already been played. You're not going to trump it. You can't follow suit because you don't have any spades. So you throw off something. It's called a discard. Your first discard is a message to your partner. Here's my best suit. This is what I want you to play back if you can. Any questions about that? No. No. So we learned about, about leading touching honors. We learned about singletons. Somebody tell me about if you have a doubleton. How do you handle a doubleton if you're going to lead a doubleton? Linda? Linda? The highest, oh, the highest card first. The higher. And then hopefully the higher of the two cards. Yes. So when they, and if they throw back the same suit. Lean back, throw, yes. You, oh, whenever oh, that yes. suit is led, whenever that suit is led again, you will play a lower one. Hopefully your partner is paying attention. And he said, oh, look at that. The first time she led that, she led a jack. Now she's playing a three. Why would she leave the higher one first? Because those are the only two she has. And if he took the trick, he can lead back that card and you can trump it. None of this is gonna do any good if your opponent has already pulled Trump, right? Right, doesn't matter. Then, you, then right. you just have a void in the suit that you can't do anything with. Why am I mentioning about that? Because you guys, when you're a declarer, what you want to do is you want to, at your first opportunity, is to get your opponent's trump out. I can't stress that enough. Get their trump out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what else did we talk about? We talked about Boston. Yes, it's a very nice city. <laughs> and what did I say about Boston? Bottom of nothing. Bottom, that of, if you happen to be top bottom nothing. of something, top of nothing. What does that mean? That's what that I means if your partner has bid a suit. And you, being the good bridge player and partner that you are, have led that suit, you will look and you will say, ah, do I have one card in that suit, a singleton? I lead it. Do I have two cards in that suit? Yeah, I lead the top one first, the higher one first. If I have three cards, I do Boston. And I may have somebody here that wasn't here last week, so I'll just go over that again. I've taken the word Boston, I've split it in half. Bottom of something, top of nothing. nothing. Sound familiar? Yes. yes. Okay. Bottom of something means if you have something in that suit, something means a decent card. I'd say a 10 or better. Definitely not, not less than a 10. If you have at least a 10 in that suit, topping three cards, 10, 6, 2, Jack, 5, 4. You have something in that suit. It's not great, nothing to write home about, but it's something. You're gonna lead the bottom. So if I have Jack five, four, I lead the bottom of something. Yes? Yes. If I've got squat in that suit, I've got three cards. We're always talking about three cards, eight, Three, two. What am I leading? Eight. The eight. eight. Top. The top is still pretty bottom, but it's it's the best. Mm -hmm. Bottom of something. This is something. So I lead the bottom. This is garbage. I lead the top. <laughs> How does your partner even know that you have a, a Boston? I mean, it's like so not clear. You will pay attention to the next card you play in that suit. I know. Okay. 
You got to pay attention. There's a lot of things you got to watch out for in, when you're at the bridge table. <laughs> Number one, you got to pay attention to the bidding. Then you've got to remember the bidding because it's going to help you make decisions as to what to lead and what to play throughout the game. Right? Yeah. Number three, you got to count the trump. Right. You gotta, especially if you're a declarer, you got to keep track of how many trump are still out. You have to count a lot of things. Let's say um, Trump is hearts and you've been playing diamonds and you've played two rounds of diamonds. So, so eight diamonds went out and you've got four diamonds left in your hand. No, you've got, uh, you got three diamonds left in your hand and there's one still in the dummy. That's eight and four is 12, right? So mm -hmm. you know one person has another diamond. It's either your partner or it's to Clara. If it's your partner, and that's not good, because declare right. can trump it. But if it's declare that still has a diamond, then your partner is out. Then he can, as long as all the trump aren't gone, he can trump it. So you got to keep track of that. Ooh. Count by fours. Watch, watch the rounds. Don't count mm -hmm. individual cards. Say four went out there, four went out there. That's eight. Count by fours. If someone doesn't follow suit, remember that. What you can do, sneaky people, if you want to be a sneaky person, <laughs> is when they lead a diamond, if you really don't know what to throw off on the diamond, if you can't follow suit, throw off a, a throw off a heart. Same color. Maybe they're not paying attention and they think you play a played a diamond. <laughs> hey, this is what we do. Mm. Okay? It's doggy dog in the bridge world, guys. <laughs> all right? So you got to pay attention to all these things. Mm. And I urge you to pay attention to the bidding. It's not mm. like, oh, the bidding's over. I'm going to forget all about it. Because that's mm. going to help you make decisions throughout the whole hand. Okay. So, oh, so if you have four cards in your partner suit, you can't lead a singleton. You can't lead the top of a doubleton. You can't do Boston because it's four cards. Just lead your lowest card in that suit. Also, if you have five cards in your partner suit. What if you have five cards in your partner's suit and it's topped by an ace? What do you think you should lead? Ace. ace. Lead that ace because if he, if he right. bid the suit and you've got five, chances mm -hmm. are your opponents maybe only have one. So you want to get that ace, cash that ace in while you still can before they have a chance to get rid of it and your ace is worthless. Yeah. Good? Yes. yes. Any questions about leads? Now remember well, yes, last week, last, yeah, just one second. I just want to finish what I'm saying. Last week we did leads, the initial lead, the first lead, and we also have other leads. Every time, every time somebody wins a trick, they lead, right? Unless mm -hmm. it's the 13th trick. So somebody's there's, there's 13 leads in the game. So it's not just when we do leads, it's not just the first one. Okay. I have one hand up. Bobby? Uh, the last thing you said is if you have four or five cards in your partner's suit, what do you do? Lead the lowest one. Unless yeah. it's unless it's topped by an ace. Unless it's topped by an ace, unless it's topped by touching honors, right? Right. Touching honors, you want to lead the top of touching honors. Is there anybody who hasn't asked a question in a while that has a question? I Florence? have a question. Can you hear me? Are you Florence? Yeah. No, I'm Florence. Well, I'm not Florence. Florence has your hand up. Let's let's go with the people that have had their hand up first, and then I'll ask answer other questions if people haven't okay. gotten the, the hang of raising their hand. Go ahead, Florence. Florence when you said hand. when you said top of touching honors, is it um more than two honors or a top of touching honors? A king and queen, a top of touching honors. That's enough. As honors is plural. As long as it's two or more. Okay. Your honors. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Um, Anne, so, yes. can you hear me? I, I have a question. Who are you? My, I'm also Anne. Anne, oh. Anne Scott. <laughs> so back to top touching mm -hmm. honors. If my partner leads king, top touching honors in a no trump situation, and I have ace and three only, would I overtake it with the ace and play back the three? Uh, because otherwise I can't get back to him. Oh. Don't no. worry. Okay. Don't worry. If he leads the king, in no trump, he mm -hmm. must have the queen and the jack with, right? Right. 
Are you afraid that otherwise he's not going to get the lead anymore? Yes. Okay, so let's, so here's, here, let's work this out logically. He leads the king, that means he has the queen, right? Yes. So he leads the queen. So you're, you're saying that if he leads the king and you play low, then if he leads the queen now, you're going to take the ace, you won't be able to play it back to him? Exactly. That's an, okay, that's an interesting thought. Um, I would say that that would depend on whether or not you think you have any other chances to make, to take a trick. Mm-hmm. Oh no, that doesn't really matter then because you still are stuck. That is a very interesting thought. You only have two and you have the ace and a little one. Yes. Yeah, there's an argument to be made for doing that. So let me just explain for those people that maybe not didn't get what Anne said. So Anne yes. is saying, if she plays low on her partner's king, he's gonna play it back, probably mm -hmm. the queen. Then she's gonna have to take it with the ace because that's the only card she's gonna have left. Mm -hmm. So she's not going to have another one in that trick, in that suit to play back to, to him. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I, I would say that that is a good, a good strategy. You would take the ace, he's going to scream a little bit, but mm -hmm. then when you play it back to him, he's going to have the queen and the little ones. It's kind of like, we talk about uh, the honor from the short side. Yeah, mm -hmm. no. Playing the honor from the short side. At first, yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. like if you have high cards here and high cards there, you play. So it's kind of like, yeah, I'm going to take that ace first so I can have a little one to play back to the others. Mm -hmm. Good idea, Anne. Okay. I guess I guess that would have to work in a situation play, like that. So, you play, so she plays the ace over so this his king. So, so yeah, so what she's saying is, so maybe, maybe if you can't visualize it, I'll write it down. She's saying that her partner leads uh, king of diamonds, let's say. And she's got the ace of diamonds and a two. So normally you would say, well, I'm not going to play the two on his king because he's already got the trick, right? But what happens is he's not leading the king in no trump unless he has the queen and probably the jack with it. He might lead a king in, in a suit contract if it's a singleton, but we don't lead singletons in no trump, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Promise me you'll never lead a singleton in no trump? Mm -hmm. Promise. Promise. <laughs> okay. So you know he's got the queen and maybe the jack. Mm -hmm. So what, what she's saying is if he leads the king and you play the two and he plays another diamond back, which he will, the queen, you're going to have to take it with the ace because it's the only one you're going to have left. And then how are you going to play back to him for his other good diamonds? He's leading his best suit. So what she's suggesting, and it's a really good idea, is if he leads the king, on, only in this situation, if you have three diamonds in, you're not going to have to worry about that, right? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. But only in this situation, because it's ace doubleton, you have to take it with the ace, and then you have a little one to lead back to him. Otherwise, you're stuck in this mm -hmm. hand if you play mm -hmm. low on the first trip. Because when mm -hmm. he leads how are you going to play back? Okay. Yeah. Thank you for pointing that out. All right. Are we good with, because it's uh, almost 3.30. Are we good with leads? Yes. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't think we did any of this work. All right. I think page and 11. Uh, Roberta, what's your question? Mm -hmm. What does the adage left yeah. hand right light? Can you read yeah, those? Are you going to go over okay. that? Oh, okay. I will be happy to tell you. Okay. You could say left heft, right light, or lefty hefty, righty lighty. What it means is if you really don't know, you're stuck in figuring out what to leave. Uh, you don't remember the bidding, or you want to bid anything, so you don't have any clue as to what to lead. You don't know what his best suit is. Look at the dummy. So let's say the dummy is over here in West. I'm going to add. Yep, exactly. I didn't really want to have to mute everybody. Oh, how is the baby? Okay, oh, somebody's somebody doesn't realize I'm muting. Oh, good. good. Okay, I'm going to remind you guys. Have a phone conversation. If you're not muted, the entire world. Here's your phone conversation. 
and not me. All right, so this is you. You're sitting at the table. There you are. You're south, you're facing your partner north. Where is the dummy in relation to you? He's on your left, isn't he? If you were sitting there, this is you facing this way. The dummy is near your left shoulder, right? Your left shoulder is the closest shoulder to the dummy. The dummy's on your left and you're on lead. So we say left heft or lefty hefty. You know from hefty bags that hefty means strong, right? That's where we get our, our vocabulary from, from trash bags. Okay. So you know from, uh, you know that the word heft means strength. And you know that strength in bridge always refers to high cards. That's what strength is. Aces, kings, queens, jacks, tens if everything else is gone. So if you are on lead and you don't know what to do, go lefty hefty, referring to the dummy. The dummy is on your left. You're gonna play to the strength of the dummy. So if the dummy has a weak suit, in clubs he's got a nine five two, and in diamonds he's got a queen jack six five, you're gonna lead the diamond. It's gonna take more than the time that I have here to explain why that's a good strategy. Just trust me, I've been playing bridge forever. That is what I want you to do. If the dummy is on your left, play to the strength of the dummy, left heft. If however, the dummy is over here and you're on lead, you're gonna play to those lousy clubs or whatever the suit is he's lousy in. You play to the weakness of the dummy. Left heft, right light. The light, a light suit is a suit that he doesn't have anything in. It's a weak suit. So let's say the dummy is over here on your right. That's you. The dummy's over here. Play to his garbage suits. Roberta, does that answer your question? Uh, can I ask, in reference to that, can I ask a question? Wait, Roberta, did that answer no. your question? I, I understand what you're saying by the adage, but I don't understand the concept as to the- You don't understand why. why. You, because you don't understand why. You... why. It's, it's not necessary to understand why, and it would take me a half an hour to explain it. Okay. Just, okay. just trust me that as you play bridge, it's gonna become clear to you. Even if you can't verbalize it, you will understand, you will see situations in which, oh, that's why I did that. So it's not the first card because the dummy's not down yet. It's after the dummy's down. It's the subsequent Correct. cards. Okay. Correct. Right. It can't be the first card because you haven't seen the dummy yet. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, was that Georgette that had a question? Yeah. Now, on reference to that, on the left, play to the strength. If you see in a suit, it starts with ace king. You still play that suit, even though you know you're going to lose those two rounds? It depends on how many. Well, it depends what you have in your hand. It depends on how many they've got there. It depends on if you're playing in no trump. It depends. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's, yeah. It's going to depend on some factors. Uh, if you have one suit that has ace, king, queen, jack, and another suit that has uh, ace, queen, five, two, they're both strong suits, I'd probably play to the second one because maybe my partner could get the king on that one, you know, it's that ace, queen, five, two. Okay. So it can lead to the strength, but if it's ridiculously strong and you think that it's not going to be, it's not going to get you anywhere, then that's not a suit I would choose. I would choose another strong suit. Oh, okay, thank you. You are, that, um, I hope that's, that's clear. All right, if we can go on, I think I wanted you to turn to page 11. And I said that North was the dealer and you're South. And I have the bidding as North opening up one heart. What does North have? 13 to 21 points, five hearts. East over calls 
one spade. What does uh, North have? I'm sorry, what does East have if he overcalled one spade? Well, I guess it's quiet because you're not unmuted yet. Just jump in. Four card, four card major. It's four spades. I'm Five. shaking my head vociferously. East, An open is hand. Not, East is not North's partner. An open hand, five spades. And you mean an open hand? 13 points or 12 points or more. Um, five spades and two majors in that, in that suit. Two honors? Two honors, sorry. Okay, so part of that is right. Part of that, we're gonna, we're gonna tweak it a little bit. When you overcall in any situation, I see your hand, Sari. So, you know, I, I really, really would hope that you guys can use, that you guys can use the uh, reactions button because I can see the order in which those hands came up. And I, I really cannot be watching the faces to see who's waving their hand at me. I, I gotta see the hand come up. Please do not walk. interrupt. Please do not interrupt. Let me let me say what I'm saying. Um, if you overcall in any situation, you are promising five cards in that suit. Right. That is take it to the I shouldn't say take it to the grave. Just take that as 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 blind faith. You must have five cards. You're promising something mm -hmm. to your partner. If you overcall at the one level, then that means that you have anywhere from 10 points up. What the, uh, I don't remember who, who told me it was five cards and, and two honors and 13 points. If you overcall it at the one level, you can do it with five cards two honors, and 10 points, 10-5-2. We've talked about 10-5-2. If you overcall at the two level, and if somebody opened one spade and you wanted to overcall in hearts, you'd have to do it at the two level, right? In this case, it's at the one level. If you overcall at the two level, yes, then you need to have opening points and five cards. And it's always nice to have a couple of pictures in the suit in which you overcall it. So we don't know for a fact that East has 13 points because he's overcalling at the one level. He may have as few as 10. South comes back two hearts. South is responding to her partner who said one heart. Tell me what South has. Jump in guys. At Cat, least three hearts. Cat, what does what does South hearts. have? At least four hearts and and six points. Well, you're three. right about the six points. At least three hearts. I'll tell you specifically. Three oh, three hearts. I'm sorry. Yeah, right. South <laughs> South has at least three hearts because she's promising a fit with her right. partner, and her partner has five. And South made a, made a, made a very simple raise. <clears throat> going six to 10 points, one heart, two hearts. Pat, what did you want to add? I'm not following you. You can, un you can unmute, please. So there's nothing else to say. Yeah, that's what you were going to say, right? Six to 10 points and three. Right. Could he have four hearts? Yes. Absolutely. But he can't have more than 10 points because his bid doesn't say that. His bid is one heart, two hearts, six to 10 points. Okay. West's turn to bid. West says two spades. West has the same situation that South has. Has support for his partner's major suit and six to 10 points. <clears throat> it's gonna be a question of chicken. Who's gonna give up first? Well, it seems like, <laughs> like North did. North passed. North said, too rich for my blood. <laughs> How many points do you think North has? I can't follow you. 13. Sorry, what, what is the problem? Sorry, what is, hang on, what is the yeah, problem? The problem is I can't follow where you're reading from. I'm looking on page 11. Are you on top? What are you at hand day? Of course I'm on top. If I wasn't on top, I would say that I was somewhere else. So you're just with the one heart and the one spade and the two hearts and the two spades? Yes. I yes. see. Mm -hmm. Well, how are we supposed to know how many, how many cards these people have? 
because you're supposed to know that if somebody gives up and stops bidding, that that's an indication of the points. I'm not asking you, I'm, I'm asking you for your best judgment. This is an intermediate class, advanced okay. beginners class. I'm asking, you have enough knowledge under your belt that you should have some idea of what North has. Is there somebody who ha would like to venture a guess? What North has? Again, what North has that he stopped bidding. Please minimum don't raise your hand. Minimum hand. He has a minimum hand. Mm -hmm. He is saying, and I've said this, and so how are you supposed to know? I have said at least a hundred times during the course of these lessons that if you if you have a minimum hand and your partner shows you six to ten points, you're probably going to pass. This is not the first time we've heard this. So if North is passing, North is saying, if my partner has six to ten points only, we have no chance of making gain. We don't even have a chance of making three hearts. So I'm going to stop bidding. The fact that East is still bidding, East says three spades, means that East has a little more than an opening hand or East wouldn't have stopped bidding. Is everyone with me? Yes. Okay. Yes. South says, well, if my partner is going to pass, so am I. Mm -hmm. And West goes to four spades. I'd like to go back to East for a minute. East knows that his partner has six to 10 points. How does East know that? Two spades. Because, because West bid of two spades said, I am supporting you partner at the cheapest level possible. I have six to 10 points, right Pat? So for East to keep bidding, how many points do you think East has? Six to 10. He no, doesn't even have six to ten. He's a minimum, a minimum hand. Then why didn't he pass? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, a medium hand. A medium he hand. He has a medium hand. He has about 17, 16, 17, maybe 18 points. How do we know that? Because his he's still bidding, right. even though his partner may only have six points. Right. He's still bidding. If he had 19 or 20 points he wouldn't have given his partner an invitation. He wouldn't mm -hmm. have said, hey partner, you decide whether to go to four spades. He would have gone to four spades because if East had 19 points and West showed him six, 19 and six is 25, that's really enough for game. Right. Game is 25, 26 points. I'll take questions. I'll take, Roberta, do you still have your, you have your hand well, up? I, I have my hand up because I'm trying to, there's only 40 points in the deck. And there's Rosa, only 40. No, that's not true. There's 40, only 40, 40 high card points. High card the points. There's so distribution North, points. So if North opened, they have 13 points. If the, it if could East be 11 open, high card points with two extra points for two extra uh, hearts. But, they, but okay. And then East over called, they have someplace around 10, could be nine, could be you know, something. And then South responded. So they have six, six to 10 points. And West responded. So they had six to 10 points. And then East rebid. It just seems like this. It I'm might be. It like might. It points. might be that mathematically this couldn't work. But someone <laughs> could have a, someone could have a void and have given themselves more points for the voids. We talked about dummy points, right? Okay. I I did not sit down and work out mathematically if this was possible. I was just trying to illustrate something. Okay. Thank you. So it's thank possible you. that mathematically it doesn't work. But I'm thinking maybe it's a void, there's a singleton, there's extra cards, don't worry about it. Pat? No, okay. mathematically it works. They still have a chance at game. They could still have 25 hard card points or 25 okay. points. That's yeah. why they continue bidding. Yeah, I'm, like, like I was telling you, I didn't work it out exactly, but I, I've seen situations like this, so I'm sure they exist. Okay, so everyone's passing on a, on a contract for four spades. Yes. I'm thinking West does not have exactly six points. Because if West had exactly six points, he might have passed on the invitation. I think West probably has seven or eight points. Because when somebody gives you an invitation, when your partner says three spades, just under game, two no trump, just under game, he's saying, you got a couple of extra points, you go to game. Maybe he That's even had four spades. And he might have had an extra spade and he might have had a singleton or a doubleton. There's all kinds of reasons. 
is have we talked about reevaluating your hand? Yes. yes. Right. So you know, like you put you have a fit in space, your partner had, you know, you have a singleton. Sure. I just got three more points in my hand. Mm. All kinds of things are possible. Okay. <clears throat> so you are no longer, you are south. You are on leave. Right? You're on leave. Mm -hmm. So let's look at let's look at hand A. Tell me what you would lead if you were south. Remember, you're going to use the bidding as a guide. I don't understand. You don't understand? Okay. The contract is for spades. Who bid spades first? East. East oh. bid spades first. You are south, right? Uh huh. Let me show you. Your highest heart. East mm. bid the spades first. East is to Clara. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is you sitting in south. Aren't you going to lead? Aren't you to the right of the dummy? Yes. Okay, everybody good? Yes. Mm -hmm. How are you going to know what to lead? You're going to know what to lead because you're going to think about the bidding. So I'm going to ask you to circle the card. Hand A is your hand, South. Circle the card that you would lead. And we'll talk about what it is. We'll talk about what it is in a minute. It's really kind of cut and dry. I mean, it's 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 an obvious one. Isn't mm -hmm. it the A? Wouldn't you believe in the A? Isn't it that I asked you not to call out? And I asked you to circle certain, the card. Certainly circle the card that what? Circle the card that you would lead in hand A based on the bidding that just happened. Okay. And you're mm -hmm. south. Yes. In hand B, with this, if that was your hand with the same bidding, circle mm -hmm. what you would lead in hand B. Excuse me. Yes. Hand A, is, which one is hand A? The one that says hand A. Yeah, I know, but are they south or are they north? I, I can't follow that. I don't understand what the problem is. It says right here, you are south. Right on the top, you are south. Then I said, what would you lead? Obviously because you are south. Oh, so hand A is south. Hand A and hand B are south. Oh. I'm giving you two two different scenarios. Okay. What you would what would you lead south in, in if that was your hand in A, or if that was your hand in B? Okay. Based on what I taught you about leads. Okay. In hand A, are you leading the Ace of Hearts? Yes. 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 You better. Yes. Your partner yes. did it. Hopefully, hopefully your opponents each have two hearts so you can get your ace and your king good, right? Right. Mm -hmm. In hand B, you've got choices. Yes. You could lead the top of the doubleton diamond, the seven of diamonds, but I like you to lead your partner's suit. You got anything in that suit? Boston. Oh. Boston. You got anything in that suit? Got garbage. No. Garbage. Top of the bottom. Top of nothing. Top, Top of nothing. Top of nothing, the nine. Top of nothing is the nine. The nine. The nine of hearts. You have nothing in that suit. You have three cards. So you're going to use Boston. Bottom of something. Top of nothing. Nothing. The nine is nothing. You're going to lead the nine. If you led the seven of diamonds, it's not horrible. It's the top of a doubleton in, in, in an unbid suit. But I like you to lead your partner's suit. Okay. Forget about that scenario. Totally new scenario. North is the dealer. You're south. Let's go over this bidding. Your partner passes. Sorry, I'm right here in the middle of the page, on page 11. <laughs> your partner North passes. Your opponent, your right-hand opponent, opens one spade. You pass. Does North have 13 points? No. no. Has 12 points. And South, <laughs> you don't know what North has. You don't see North's hand. 
<laughs> guys, try to follow. North <laughs> passes. I don't know if he has 12 or if he has three or if he has a yard bar or nothing, but North passes. Yeah. East has 13 points or more. East open. And five you spades. No he has five spades. And five spades. That's hope. South, that's you. You pass. You obviously don't have opening points or you would have over, well, might not have a five card mm. seat to overcall, but let's just assume for now that you don't have opening points. We're gonna take a look at these two hands in a minute. West says three spades. His partner opened one spade and he says three spades. Somebody tell me what West has. Yeah, it's a minimum. Um, 17 or 18 points, an invitation. Yeah, 17 or 18 points. It's an no. invitation. No, no, no he's he has, opening. He has need to 11 focus, points. guys. He has, he has 11 five points. cards, two honors, and 13 points. Pat, you are correct. Pat, tell us what he has. He has 11 points, and he has at least three spades. It is called a limit raise. Remember, we talked about that way back in Beginner's Bridge. My partner opens in a major suit. I've got six to 10 points. I will say, let's say he opened in spades. He says one spade, I say two spades. I've got at least three, we have a fit, and I've got six to 10 points. If I've got 11 points, I'm not gonna say two spades because that just told him I have six to 10. I'm gonna say three spades. Sound familiar, I hope? Yeah. One spade, three spades, okay. Is that 11 points max um, or 11 no, points? No, it could be 11 or 12. Okay. I would do it with 12 points also. So he has 11 to 12 points? West, absolutely. Uh, Susan, what you were thinking about was the opener bidding again. Right, okay. Not the responder. Okay, thank you. Okay, North stills passing. East goes to four spades. What would East have to do that? 14 points. He's gonna have. Does everyone understand what, what Pat is saying? Yes, medium hand. No. Not necessarily. He doesn't need a medium hand. Think that you have to, in every bid, you have to think about, this is why I keep saying, what does he have? What does he have? Think about what the bid means. If I open one spade and my partner says three spades and she's promising me 11 or 12 points and supported my spades, why do I need 17 points to go to game? Yeah. How many points is game? 25, 25 26. 26. If I have 14 points, 15 points, isn't that enough combined to go to game? Yeah. Isn't mm -hmm. that 25, 26 yeah. points? Right. You yeah. got to work it. It's very simple mathematically. You just have to work it out. So East is saying, I accept your invitation. I don't have 12, 13 points. I've got enough that if you have 11 or 12, we have enough for game. Okay? Yes. So once again, East is to Clara because East is the first one to have bid the suit. And here you are down here. You're on lead. Hand A. Let's see what you, were you right to pass? When, when East said one spade, you've got 11 points in your hand, don't you? Yes. Yes. Hand A, you've got 11 points. So you did the right thing, Sal, when you passed on East's opening bid. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. On your opponent's opening bid. Has your partner shown you anything? No. No. Oh. no. no. Without saying it, please circle what you would like to lead. <laughs> you all pick the ace of diamonds. Yes. Yes. Thank yes. you, God. <laughs> Your hope is that both Declara and Dummy have three diamonds. Mm. So you can cash in your ace, your king, and your queen. Yes, yes? Yes. yes. Let's say that happens. You only need one more trick to defeat them, right? Yes. What would mm -hmm. you lead next? Well, it would depend. I think, I think what I would do in that case is I would do the left heft right light. Mm -hmm. The dummy would be on my left, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. 
if I if I'm able to get a trick with the Ace of Diamonds, King of Diamonds, Queen of Diamonds, I'm still on lead, aren't I? Yep. Yes. The dummy's on my left, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. It leads to the strength of the dummy. Lefty hefty. Is everyone or, getting or watch what your partner has discarded? Can you just hold up the, the order for a second? Could you just hold up the order for a second? Hold up the order. So, so you're leading again. You're leading. After well, if, you, if your opponents both have a three diamonds, you've cashed in your ace, your king, and your queen. Okay, so so I would play if my partner is the last one. Well, now forget about it. Uh, <laughs> my partner, so what, what I was getting at is if I knew my partner was going to be last, which they're not, I would have played the two, anticipating one trump and then an over trump, but. It depends whether you see a yeah. void in the dummy now. Yeah. You, if if everybody has followed, it depends. Has your partner followed suit with a diamond, or has your partner discarded? Right, right. You see how you're counting, guys. If yes. your partner showed mm -hmm. out, and you can account for the fact that maybe you, your opponent still have a diamond, I might play the two, hoping that my partner could trump it. But if everybody followed suit, that means twelve diamonds have gone out. That means my two is the 13th diamond. Yep. Save it for later. <laughs> you're assuming that, <laughs> that they're gonna run out of Trump and that you're gonna get the lead. <laughs> yes, Sari. Okay, in hand A, where you're just talking, you said that hand A has 11 points and then hand B has seven points. We so haven't looked at hand B yet, but go ahead. But it's but if it's a, if hand A has eleven points and and hand B has seven, that's not that's not uh, what are they? How can I be playing? I don't understand. Okay, you're still thinking about hand A and hand B as two people playing together. Yeah. But I but hand A and hand B are are two scenarios. Oh, I see. So okay. you're south with hand A and you're south with hand B, and I'm saying, what would you do if hand A was your hand? What would you do if hand B was your hand? They're not meant to be looked at as as oh, they're, so as they're they not playing partners. together. Oh, so they're not partners. That's what no. I'm, no. I'm no. That's, That's why it says, "What would you do in in each situation?" Okay, I'm sorry if it was confusing. Hand B, same bidding. North passed. East says a spade. South passed. West says three spades. Passed. Four spades. Passed. 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 Pass. But this time you have the cards you have in hand B. So I'd like you to circle what you what I think you should lead. What uh, circle what you think you should lead. And I'm going to caution you not to lead the ace of hearts. No, I don't that. like leads of aces in most situations. Francine, um, what would you like to lead in that? I'd lead the nine of clubs. I agree with you. I like. I'm, yeah, I'm agreeing with you. I'd lead the nine of clubs in that situation also. My partner hasn't bid. Every suit with spades is an unbid suit. So I want to lead my short one. I'm going to lead my nine. Hopefully my partner can take a trick. Next time he plays it back, I have the two. That's where I'm going with that. Question? Question? Yeah. Okay. Um, I just want to go back to the bidding for one second. Yes. Um, you said West went up to three spades with a limit raise and that it would be 11 to 12 points. Perfectly if, right. If West had four or five spades, but did not have 11 or 12 points, would West still go up to three spades? Okay. Uh, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something really quickly. If you don't understand it, I'm not gonna be able to spend any more time on it, but I don't think we're gonna get to it during this course. So I'd like you to just understand it. It's called the law of total tricks. The law of total tricks says that the number of tricks that 
partner should be able to take is approximately how many Trump the two of you have together. So that means in certain situations, if you have 10 Trump together, you should be able to make 10 trips. Pat, have you heard of this? Yes. Yes. I'm only yes. asking Pat because he seems to have some nice experience in bridge. Okay, so your partner opens one spade and you're sitting there with five spades in your hand. You know that you have a fit of 10 spades, correct? Correct. In certain situations, you could go right to four spades with that. And what would the situation be? I want you to have at least six, seven points. And I want you to have a singleton. Because your 10 spades aren't going to do any good unless you have some short suits that you can use that trump for. Right? Okay. So, so uh, Linda opens one spade. I have this. I'm just making up a hand on the fly now. So just give me a minute. Uh, five. Okay. I hope I have 13 cards here. Six. Yes. This is my hand. My partner has opened one spade. Do we have 10 spades together? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Do I have at least six or seven points? Yes. Yes. yes Do I have a singleton? Yes. Yes. I'm going to go yes. right to four spades with this. Mm. Only because I have five spades. If I, the woman who asked me about the four or five spades, if I had four spades, I wouldn't do it. Okay. Now with these points, but if I had four spades and 11 points, is that what you were asking me? Yeah. I could, then I get an, I get an extra point for the extra spade. Okay. I would go to four spades with that. Okay, thank you. You were, you're welcome. That's what you were thinking, right? Yeah. Okay, but I thought and I'd throw this in. I thought I'd give you a twofer. I'd give you two answers you. for the price of one. <laughs> and can I ask you? Can I just ask you a quick question about the yeah. bidding for the first hand? Yes. So one heart, one spade, two hearts, and then a comment was made that West, if they have only six points, they may not bid. I didn't hear that. Someone said that. Yeah, but I I, I, I wouldn't. I, okay. I would bid because you I don't know bid. what your partner has, right? Your Absolutely. partner could have nine spades. They could have a two suited hand. They could have a double ten and, and a void. So, because I see that, I see people making a decision. Well, we're not going to make it, but they don't know what their partner has. Well, then maybe they have a crystal ball. Here's the thing: unless my opponents have brought the bidding up so high that I would have to really go up to a level where I'm uncomfortable to bid this is you're still at the two level with six points i'm bidding there's no, there's no question about that okay so can we go on to um to the third scenario yeah this time north and south are, are passing throughout but the, the bidding is a little different here in the last scenario on the bottom of page 11 east opens one heart West says one spade. Tell me about West's hand. Do you see what I'm talking about? Bottom of page 11? He says North five passes. Spades. North Four passes. North and, pass, north and south pass throughout. So I'm not even thinking about north and south. So what, what, east opens one heart. We're assuming east has five hearts, 13 to 21 points. South passes. West says one spade. I want someone to tell me about West's hand. He has five spades. I don't, think, five. I don't think you can promise four. that. West has four, four or more spades. And, that is correct. And at least six points. That is correct. Both of those things are undeniably true. The other thing that you cannot assume is that West does not have support for, for East. If I open one heart and my partner says one spade, you cannot say, oh, she's bidding spades because she doesn't have any hearts for me. I may just have a really nice spade suit that I want to show you first, mm -hmm. right? We talked yeah. about that. 
So you can't assume just because your partner doesn't support you right away that they can't support you ever. But what Pat said is 100% true. West needs to have four spades. When you come back with a major suit, you're promising four. There's one exception. If I open spades and you want to show me hearts, one spade, two hearts, that usually means five. Not the other way around. One heart, one spade, you only need four. One spade, two hearts, you need five. Don't worry about why. <laughs> You'd also need at least 11 points to go to the two level, right? And change the suit. Right. right. I was just going to ask. You've had your hand up for a long time. What, what, what would you like to ask me? Who? Nothing. Claire? Claire Pacioni? I had my hand raised for several questions that were raised, but I never got called on. People are shouting out answers all the time, and it's very I, frustrating. I, I understand that. And I've so asked I'm, them. I, my hand was raised because I was trying to answer a question, but. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make sure that next time I call on someone, it's you. Uh, she is right, and I am, I am urging you, please do not just call out the answer. Please use the reactions button. It's like it's like when you were in school, right? And the teacher asked a question and somebody had their hand up and somebody else is calling out. All right, so Claire, so with that in mind, what would you lead in hand A? Oh, no, no, we didn't finish the bidding, sorry. Uh, East opens a heart, West says a spade, East says two clubs. Would somebody like to tell me what East is saying when she bids two clubs? And I'm looking for hands being raised. Claire. <laughs> Claire, what is he saying when, right. she, it, when she says two clubs on her second bid? Being a second suit. Perhaps um, East does not have a fit in space and is showing a four card club suit. And she also doesn't have six hearts, does she? No, she, she would have repeated, she her, repeated hearts. her hearts. Tell me about her points. Well, I think she's on a two level. I, you know what? I don't have a clear idea until we get to the end of the bidding, but I think um, she probably has a medium hand. But she goes to four hearts at the end. She doesn't have a tremendously strong hand. She didn't skip a level, but she could have 15 points, 16 points, right? Something like yes. that? Yes. Okay. Tell me about West's hand. West mm -hmm. now goes to three hearts. Uh, are you still asking me? Um, uh, yeah, I'm still asking I would you. say that- West I'm making had, up for, uh, for before. <laughs> West had, had, had at least three hearts to support East's uh, one heart bid and uh, is now showing the support, but it actually showed a second suit that they had strengthened. What about West points? West point. <laughs> what about yeah. the points in West's hand? They also have to have- um, Probably a medium hand. A medium hand for responder, the, for responder. Right, because they went to the three level. Right, so to just look at it this way, guys. Anytime your partner gives you an invitation, whether it's the opener giving an invitation or the responder giving an invitation, they're saying, listen, based on the bidding so far, we, I can't promise that we have game level. You have to make the decision. So since West went to three hearts, she's saying, I don't have 13 points, right? Because if she had 13 points, couldn't she have gone right to four hearts at that point? So she's probably has maybe 10 or 11. She's giving an invitation, maybe 12. Okay, Francine, did you have, I'm going to call on Francine. I did. And then yeah, um, I'm just curious on the two club bid, if you had a minimum of 13 points when you opened or 12 points and one more for length, would you still go to a two club bid or a two bid with minimum opening hand? If I don't have support for the spades, I've got to bid something. Okay. I can't leave right. it in spades. I might say one no trump. Right. But, right. but the fact that she said two clubs and not one no trump means she has a decent second suit. Okay. Right? 
Okay, right, right. Yeah, definitely. Remember, if she passes, they're playing in spades. It all depends on what my spades are like. Right. Okay, Florence, you had your hand up and I don't see it up anymore. Are we good? Um, yeah, do you hear me? Um, yes. I do. Um, okay, um, I was wondering, so um, instead of West going for two hearts, they went for three hearts. So mm -hmm. I know that, that, that that's an invitational, but what would be the cutoff of points there between the two and the three? I would say, well, since your partner showed you like 15, I would say with 11 points, 11 or 12, maybe 10. I'd say 10 to 12 points. Okay. I am, uh, I'm, somebody asked me a question, how many clubs is East promising? East is promising at least four. You don't introduce a new suit without having four cards. Uh, I would say West has 10 to 12 points. For the three. Otherwise, the three. Would be, otherwise he would have gone to two. Correct. Okay. All right. And East obviously has a couple of extra points because all you need to accept an invitation is to have a little bit more than you needed to, to make your, your bid. He needed 13 points to open. He probably has 14, 15, maybe even 16 points. Okay, now with all that, mm -hmm. you are south. Yeah. Just like in every situation, you are on lead. I'm giving you two different scenarios here. Hand A is your hand now. First of all, let's figure out if you should have passed with that hand. You've got five, six, seven, nine, 10. Do you agree that you have 11 points? Yes. Do you? Actually, I think you have 10. Five, have six, 10. seven, ten. You have 10 points. You have 10, 10 points. Ten. You get nothing for your double 10 in spades. Why not? She's not supporting anything. Because you and your partner haven't agreed on anything. You can only get if somebody wants to come in. You can mm -hmm. only get points for your doubletons once you and your partner have agreed on a suit. So, with a with a ten point hand, where are you going? You know you can't bid anything. So, please circle the card based on the bidding. Circle the card that you would leave. How about the Queen of Diamonds? What do you guys think of that? Yes. 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 Okay, here's yes. where I suggest the Queen of Diamonds. Why I suggest the Queen of Diamonds. Number one, it is the only unbid suit. Right. Correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Only unbid suit. It's the only one, it's the one that, that your partner has the best chance of having a good card in because it's the only one that your opponents haven't bid. And it's got touching honors. They're not fabulous touching honors, but they're touching honors. So you lead the top of touching honors. Lead the queen of diamonds. Florence, question? Oh, no. Okay. I'm just trying to be good and honoring what I said about calling on people Sorry. who have their hand up. <laughs> okay. Is there any question about that queen of diamonds lead? No. Let's look at hand B. Same thing, Sari. You are south. It's just that this is a different scenario. The bidding is still the same. They're still in four hearts. Let's look at your points. Seven. You've got seven points, yeah. right? Two yeah. kings and a jack. Nothing for the singleton heart. You don't get anything unless you and your partner have agreed on a suit and you and your partner haven't agreed on anything. Right. Based on this hand, please circle what you think you'd leave. Please don't say you would lead the five of hearts. Please don't say that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Although okay. some people do lead Trump and they don't know what else to do. Can be in what? Is, is it north or south? I got, or is east or west? I can't follow that. What can't you follow, Sari? Which which 
which one is it? What is hand B doing? is on the bottom. Every one of these scenarios, you are south. Oh, he's south. Okay. Every one of these scenarios. Okay. So he's okay. There. Could I have somebody give me uh, a suggestion? Some maybe somebody who hasn't raised their hand before. Is they, we do have the same few people answering the questions, and this is a big class with 36 people in it. Uh, hmm. Marianne. Uh, three of diamonds. The three of diamonds, why is that? Bottom of something. Well, bottom of something refers to leading a card in your partner's suit when you have three cards. It's not quite the same thing as Boston because you're not leading a card that your partner has bid just leading okay. the unbid suit. But but I agree with you on the lead. Just the, the okay. reason is different. Okay. It's not that you're leading your partner's bid suit. You're just leading an unbid suit. You're leading the bottom of the unbid suit. Did anybody okay. come up with anything else? Okay. There Are there people that would have led the five of hearts? No. There's, there's, there's a, you know, a maxim in, in bridge, when in doubt, lead Trump. If you have no idea what to lead, lead the trump card. I'm not one of the subscribers to that. So I, I would lead the three of diamonds. Okay. Uh, anybody have a question? Can we nope. go on? Yep. Okay. Now let's look at page 12. We may not ever get to the statement convention today. But let's see. Let's look at page 12. I've given you four different, uh, three different hands here. I would like, we're not gonna play the hands, but in the first hand with East as the dealer, now you see how this works? Look at the little square in here and the E in the square is pointing towards the East hand. You can all follow mm -hmm. that? Yep. Okay. With East as the dealer, I'd like you to bid out this entire hand. And then we're gonna talk about what the lead should be. Okay. And I am going to mute everybody while we do that, just in case people want to count out loud. Guys, we learned about Jacoby Convention, right? Okay. I'm not answering questions right now. I just want you to bid the hand. We're on page 12. Okay, I am going to be pretty strict about this. I, have, I really do not want people to raise their hand manually. I want you to use the reactions button. I cannot follow. I've got 36 people here and I can't see everyone's face. And if you raise your hand, you could have your hand up the whole rest of the, of the time and I won't see it. So I see two hands raised. I see Roberta's and I see Mary Ann's and I see Bobby's. I'd like someone to go over the bidding. And I would love it if there was somebody who hasn't raised their hand yet or hasn't participated that would like to do that. Okay, Bobby, would you like to go over the bidding starting with East? But you gotta unmute. Okay, you have 16 points. 
a balanced hand. I bid uh, one no trump. What does South do? Pass, he has up to six points. What does West do? Bids two hearts. Good job. Two hearts is Jacoby transfer. She's showing at least a five card major. Yes, she has six. And she bids one suit under the suit she really has. Good job. Two, two hearts is right. What does, e, uh, what does North do? Yes. Ten points has nothing. Bobby, what does North do? Ten points. He passes, right? What does East do in response to the two heart bid? Spades. He says two spades, he has to. Let's just say North and South pass throughout. And when East says two spades, what would you like West to do? Four spades. Four spades. Okay, so here's why four spades is the correct bid. Because West has six spades, he knows there has to be a fit in spades. They have to have eight together because East could not have opened one no Trump unless he had at least two spades, right? right. What about the points? He has three, four, eight high card points. Plus, we're not going to count the doubletons because, well, yes, we are. We're counting in a suit contract. Plus a point for the doubleton club and a point for the doubleton diamond. He's got 10 points. 10 plus 15 minimum is 25. They can play in four in four spades. Okay. Who's on lead? Um, Joe? Joe? Nice to see your face. Joe, who's on lead? You have to unmute, hon. Who's on lead is East. No, East. Joe, Joe, do you know how to unle un unmute? He's Click on, on the little microphone. He's on lead. And you and two Shh, Please don't think out loud. Okay, Joe, I don't know if you're aware of this, but you're talking, we don't hear you. Okay, I'm just gonna have to ask if anyone else would like to tell me who's on lead. Ten of them is by Seth. I don't see any other hands up. Uh, Claire. Yeah. Claire? Gonna unmute. It's on lead. Okay. Um, South is going to lead you. It's, it's the contract is. Um, Contracts for spades. Think about yes. who gets spades first. Tell me who's east, on lead. So South leads to um, the dummy is going to go down is West. Right. And I see a lot of hands up. I love it. Um, um, Joe, what do you want South to lead? That's self leading the queen of diamonds. Okay, so when you lead a high card like a queen, the only reason you would do that is if you had the jack to go with it. You don't want to lead that queen of diamonds. You want them to lead diamonds to you and maybe you'll get a trip. If your mm -hmm. opponents have the king or the ace, what's going to happen to your queen of diamonds? Uh, you're going to lose it. Goodbye, Charlie. So it really should be the five of hearts. It really should. That's what it should be. Okay. It really should. Okay. 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 And so we're not going to play at the whole hand, but they are going to, your opponents are going to lose the ace of hearts, right? Mm -hmm. And they're going to lose ace of king. Uh, the ace of hearts and the ace king of spades. They have to lose the ace king of Trump. Mm -hmm. right? And I don't think they're going to lose anything else, right? right. So right. they're going to make their contract. They lose three tricks. That means they make 10. They make their contract. Mm -hmm. Does anybody see another loser? No, I don't. That's a nice, successful contract. Nice and clean. Okay, let's go to hand two. I have a question. What, uh, uh, who has, does that person have their hand up? Yes. Who are you? Florence. Go ahead, Florence. Um, why um, Why was it the five of hearts to lead and not the bottom of something? No. Because, right. because that Boston thing, again, is something you do when you have, when your partner has made a bid. Oh, right, right, right. And right, you're right. leading your partner's suit. Right. Okay. Gotcha. 
Thank you. Sometimes you just need to hear it again. All right, mm -hmm. let's go to hand. Let's go to hand. I'm assuming that the three people with their hand up, Joe and Linda, that that's just from before. All right, I'm yeah. going to go to uh, hand two, and this time North is the dealer. And please bid out this hand. This one might be a little easier. Hi, Ellen. We're on page at twelve. Little hand. Okay. <clears throat> Would like to go over the bidding, please raise your hand. If you'd like, when I say go over the bidding, if you'd like to be the one to tell us about the bidding, please raise your hand. I'm especially looking for hands of people that have not really shared much. Okay. Hey, Susan, can I pick on you? Um, I, I was just, I started out with uh, one no Trump for North, mm -hmm. 17 points in a balanced stand. Okay. Okay. Then uh, East, I have uh, uh, longest and strongest suit, two clubs. Okay. So does East, does East have enough points to overcall? 10 yeah. points. No, not on this two. Levels. No. Okay, so he's got he's got uh two, three, nine, four, uh nine. Four. He, remember, you need opening points to overcall on level two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He doesn't quite have enough points to overcall. So let's give East let's give East a pass there. Yes. All right. So tell me what Susan. Tell me what South is going to respond to her partner's one no Trump opening bid. Um, I think let's see one no Trump. So, uh, huh. um, I think uh, it would have to be um, two diamonds. Okay, so let's let's go over this now. If if South says two diamonds, remember that's Jacoby transfer. She just told her partner that she has five hearts. Remember that? Right. Um, remember right. last week we oh. learned. Was it last week we learned? Uh, no. No, we did it, and we didn't do Jacoby transfer yet. It's for, scheduled for June 18th or 25th. Okay. We didn't okay. do it. Well, you learned it in another class. So you uh, yeah, but I, I forgot okay. it. I... All right. <laughs> no, South's not going to bid diamonds. That diamond bid would show hard. South's going to say three no Trump. Yeah. Right. right. South's going to say three no Trump because her hand is balanced too. Oh, okay. I, mm -hmm. I... And why three no Trump? Because she's got 10 points. Right, the they have enough. has 15 right. to 17. Together they have enough. And that's the kind we know of thing. Trump is the big. Okay. Uh, Bobby, did you have a question? N no, it's fine. You agree that it's three no Trump? Yeah, I just didn't. Uh, let me unmute. Am I unmute? Yeah. I'm... I hear every word you're saying. Uh, no, I, I originally said that South did two no Trump. I, she... Okay, so again, wouldn't two no Trump be an invitation? Yeah. An invitation means one thing and one thing only. I don't think we have enough points for game. You have to have some extra for us to make game. Mm -hmm. North doesn't have to have anything extra. South has enough points right there for them to make game. All right, all right. Okay? That's okay. the contract. All right, so the contract is three no Trump. Right. And right. since North bid no Trump first, North is declarer. Right. Which means South is the dummy which means the person to the right of the dummy leads, and that's East. Please circle the card you would like East to leave against the contract of three no Trump. And if you say the ace of diamonds, I will start crying. I will cry right here in front of everybody. We don't need aces in no Trump. 
And I'm going to say again, because I see hands waving at me. Sari, do you know how to use the reactions button? I, I really would like to call on people who, who go through that. Norma, what would you like us to lead? You have your hand up. The Queen of Clubs. Why is that? Uh, because it's no. half of touching honors. It is. It's your best suit, right? Best you got suit. the Queen right. Jack 1098. Right. Might as well leave the top one. Right. That why, eight is ever that not, eight is why not the nine of clubs, fourth down from your longest and strongest? Because they're all consecutive. When they're all consecutive, you lead the highest one. Okay, thank you. That eight is just as good as that queen. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you might yeah. as well tell your partner, this is the best one I've got. You're not leading a queen because it's a singleton. You're leading against no Trump. You're leading that queen because you've got other stuff underneath it that's just as good. You're not promising the king when you lead the queen, but you better well be promising the jack. You understand that, right? Right. Leading the but, you, but, you, but looking at it, you're going to lose your queen because... So? Uh, so that's why I said, why not the nine fourth down from your longest and strongest? And Honey, the two, nine is as good as the queen. It you've is. Got the queen, you've got the queen, Jack, 10, 9, 8. They're all the same. Oh, okay. So either way, you're going to lose your queen, even if you start with Unless your partner has the king and the ace. So okay. what? So you lead your queen, even if you lose two clubs. Let's say you get a trick after that with the ace of diamonds. Right. Now the rest of your clubs are all gonna, all gonna be good. Okay. Okay, uh, Georgia, have a question or a comment or want to sing a song? What do you want to do? <laughs> She's laughing. Yes, Georgia. We're waiting for her to unmute. Sorry. Okay, when don't you lead an ace? Never. You never? ever lead an ace in no trump unless you've got a king and a queen and a jack with it. Uh, you don't normally lead aces. I'm going to lead an ace if it's my partner's bid suit. Okay. I'm going to lead an ace if I've got a lot of cards in that suit. If I'm leading in a, in a suit contract and I don't, I want to cash in that ace. But if I, if I have an ace five, two, and nobody bid that suit, and I'm leading in a suit contract. I'm not going to lead that ace because what am I going to get for it? My partner, my my opponents are going to give me their garbage cards. I want to save that ace mm -hmm. to beat their kings and queens, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, right. Okay. Right. All right. Thank so that's you. my lead, Queen of Clubs. Hand number three. The dealer is south. Please bid out that hand. And the opening bid for hand number three from South is not one no trump. Not if you play 15 to 17. Because that hand has 18 points. Oh. One club. Shh. Don't make me mute you. <laughs> I can do it. I got the power. Oh, you guys are right. I don't do Jacoby until next week. Right. I apologize. I teach so many classes in so many different libraries. I don't remember what who I taught to what, what I taught to who. <laughs> okay, in the interest of time, 
I'm just going to give you the answers. One club. South opens one club. Yeah, correct. Good. She's got a medium hand. Right. 17, 18 points. 16, 17, 18 points. Uh, I didn't even look at West. Three and seven, 10. No. If, if West had, had five spades, she could overcall one spade, right? Right. right. She has the points for it. She just doesn't have enough cards and spades. So West is going to pass. North does not have a four card major. Right. That's what North wants to show her partner, a four card major in response to a partner's minor, op minor suit opening. So did you all have North saying one diamond? Yes. 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 Good. yes. Good. And of course, East is like that. So here's the key, what South is going to do next. Obviously, South is not going to show a four card major. Do you know why South's not going to show a four card major? Because there's no chance of a fit in a major suit. Because in order for there to be a fit in a major suit, North would have had to have a four cards in a major suit, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Because South only has four cards in a major suit. Right. Mm -hmm. If North had four cards in a major suit, she wouldn't yeah. have bid one diamond. Yeah, exactly. She would have bid one heart or one spade, correct? Right. So therefore, there's no chance they have eight cards in a major suit, which means don't bother bidding it. I'll take questions in a minute. So South's next bid is going to be no Trump. Right. Notice I didn't give you a level. Two. It's going to be two no Trump. Remember I said mm. that when you, when you um, have a medium hand, 16, 17, 18 points, your next bid skips a level, right? right. She's got a medium hand. She almost has a maximum hand, South. Mm -hmm. Right. So South is going to bid no Trump, but she's going to skip a level right. to tell mm -hmm. her partner, I've got more than just minimum points. Does everyone understand why South's second bid, her rebid is two no Trump? Yes. 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 Not three no Trump because she doesn't have 19 points. So she says two no Trump. That's her rebid. When it goes back to no, no, South, Sal says, well, if my partner has at least 16, 17 points and I've got eight, eight points, yep. eight points, right. I have enough for I us to go to three no trouble. Go to so Somebody step. is having a conversation. I'm going to ask you to please mute yourself if you're going to do that. Okay. So do you understand why they're in three no Trump? Yes. I All understand right, why. Well, sorry. Ju Judith, do you have a question? Um, I did the one club West Pass. I said one. It's not Judith talking because Judith is muted. I asked Judith if she has a question. Oh, Judith, I'm sorry, I thought you said Joe. Um, oh, okay. 16 cent. Oh, Judith, shit. what's your question? Okay. Uh, South has 18 points or 19? Eight. Well, I'm counting seven points in spades, <clears throat> four points in hearts is 11 and two points in diamonds is 13, and five points in clubs makes 18. 18. Okay, I can't do it. So how, do you, um, so how do you go to three no Trump from two no she Trump? didn't go to three no Trump. She went to two no Trump. Okay. The bidding was one club by South, right. one diamond by North, two no Trump rebid by South. I'm bidding no Trump because we can't don't have a fit in a major suit, and I'm going to the two level, because I have a medium hand, I'm going to skip a level. Pat, question? Yeah, I'm, I'm concerned that that two no Trump bid is misleading and that your partner may pass because they don't think they have enough for no Trump. I, I would have gone right to three no Trump because aren't you inviting, you're saying, hey, I know you have- You are. What if your partner six only has six points though? What if your partner only has six points? Do you think you have a strong enough bid to make three no Trump? No, because my understanding of the two no Trump bid is telling my partner, hey, we don't have enough. I'm not sure we have enough for a game, but if you're at the higher end of your range, we have enough and I'll leave it up to you to buy well, to bid three. Okay, you, you're kind of right. I mean, if I say two no Trump on my rebid, what I'm saying is we don't have a fit in the major suit. We belong in no Trump. And I have a medium hand. 
Now, I understand that it's the high end of the medium hand. It's 18 points. It's almost a maximum hand. I said that before. But if, if North had only six points, which she clearly could have with her one diamond bid, I don't think they have a shot at three no Trump. I think she's got to invite. Okay. I, 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 I mean, the odds are 80% that she has seven or eight or nine or 10 points. Maybe. So I, I could be wrong, but I would play the percentages and I would go to three no Trump. Okay. I don't know if, if, if this is this is a beginner's class, an advanced beginner's class, and I'd like them to have uh, the cushion of a couple of extra points. Okay. To cover any mistake that could be made. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Let me just see this. Somebody who's would I go to three no Trump on that? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. So let's okay. count. Let's, <laughs> let, Sorry, please raise your hand with the, with the um, Francine, what's your question? Okay, I thought when you, when you have like a, an in-between hand at uh, 18, 19 points, that you bid, you suit first, you wait to see what your partner brings, and then automatically you bid the two no Trump, telling your partner, I'm jumping a level and I've got 18 to 19 points. Is that no, not eight, 17, 18, 19 17, points. I'm I, going I meant 17, 18. Yeah, 19 points. I'm going to three. No Trump. Right. I thought that's what that signified that. But that's you were what telling we did. The, partner, the bid of two. No Trumps was 18, 17, 18 points. But that's what we did. Right. But and we so, did it because we, we don't have a fit in a suit. So we right. belong in no Trump. Right. 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 So did you did you hear us do something here that was contrary to what you think, what you just said? And I I just my point is I thought that it was sort of automatic when you bid one of a suit and your partner. Oh, still you're saying no matter what you have in suits to automatically go to two no Trump? Two no Trump. I, I wouldn't. I'm not gonna say two no Trump unless I'm thinking no Trump. If I had if I had uh, let's say six spades. Oh, uh, sorry, six clubs, right? Pick one of them. Okay, sounds good. Or if I had, if I had five spades, let's say I had five spades, and I open one spade. Oh uh, no, let's say six spades. All right, six spades. I say one spade. My partner says one diamond, and I've got six spades. I'm not going to say two no Trump on my next bid. I'm going to bid my spades again, and I'm going to jump a level. So a medium hand does not, uh, just because you have a medium hand doesn't mean you're automatically going to rebid to no Trump. There are other ways to show 18 points. And one, and, and it's always just to skip a level. So again, if I, if I open one spade, my partner says one no Trump and I have 18 points and six spades, my rebid will be three spades, not two no Trump. Okay. Okay, Bobby, question? I looked at this thing and I thought it was like very simple and very straightforward. Uh, south, south bid uh, one no Trump and North bid two no Trump as an invitation. Why the club and why the diamond? They both have value. Okay. If you, if you follow, if you follow 15 to 17 points and you have an 18 point hand, you're not going to open one no Trump because one no Trump says 15 to 17. This is an 18 point hand. You're underestimating, you're undervaluing your hand. You're telling your partner, I may have as few as 15 points. One no Trump is 15 to 17, not 18. Oh, don't some people play 16 to 18? They do, but we don't do that in this class. Okay. So, so since we have a limit of 17 points for one no Trump, I'm not opening that hand one no Trump. Sorry, okay. Okay. Sorry. I'm gonna call on you. And then when, when the class is over, I am gonna go over with you to teach you how to raise your hand. Because I I'm trying- I have, I am on reaction. I am on reaction. Did you click on raise yes. hand? Yes. Well, it didn't come up. It's on my- on my desktop, I see it. Oh, okay. I, I'm asking you one question. If yes. it's, is, it did, if the bid is three no Trump, did, was it North that made them three no Trump? Yes. That's all. 
Thank you. Yes. Okay. So since the contract is three no Trump, and South was the first one to bid no Trump. That means that West is going to be on lead. Right. West is to the right of, of dummy. Just to speed things up, speed. West is going to lead the Queen of Spades. Right. 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 Top of touching honors. Right. Okay. Even though it's no Trump, you're still going to lead the top of touching honors. Okay. Let's go to page 13. Quickly, we're just gonna do this together. South is the dealer. South has seven, 14, 15, 19 high card points, plus two points for the two extra diamonds. You see that? Yep. Yeah. Seven and seven is 14, 15, 19, 21 points. Not quite enough for two clubs. Clubs, right. But that is a maximum hand. Mm -hmm. I'm going to open that hand one diamond. You get nothing for the singleton spade yet. One diamond. Pass by West. North is going to show her four card major. Does she have six points? Yes, she does. Yeah. She's got four and two is six and three is nine. <clears throat> one spade by North. East is sitting there going, please, God, let it be at spades. Right? <laughs> yes. East passes saying, I'm going to shut my mouth and hope for the best. <laughs> what would you like South to do? Oh, show those uh, cards. No, diamonds again. No. We get the diamonds. Maybe. I'll go to South to go. Kind of do Show much. the hearts to see how um, if North has them. So if you bid hearts over spades, you have to have five. All right, all right, okay. Gonna do the diamonds again. No. Yeah, I would do, do the diamonds three again. Diamonds. Let's three say three diamonds. diamonds. Three diamonds. I kind of like no Trump with the mm. singleton and a double. Your partner piece. bid the spades. Your partner bid the spades. True. Oh. If it's a singleton in a suit that my partner didn't bid, I'm not going to bid no Trump. Uh, I think I'd bid three no Trump. With 21 points and my partner responded to me, there's enough points there for three no Trump. I'm bidding three no Trump. Okay. And um, just... If, and, you, and, if you bid three no... If you bid three diamonds, what would North's bid be next? Would they be three no Trump? No, he can't because of the oh, hearts. Right. Oh, right, 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 right. So uh, he might say four diamonds. You might end up in five diamonds, but three no Trump is so much better. Yeah, it is, definitely. It is. So let's, um, yeah, he's, can't, North can't bid no Trump because he's worried about the hearts. But right. when <laughs> South says no Trump, he's telling you that he's got the hearts covered. So West is going to be on lead. West is going to lead the two of clubs, guys. Right. Yeah. Right. His partner hasn't bid. His partner hasn't bid. So he's going to be fourth <laughs> down from his longest and strongest. His hearts and his clubs are almost identical. Ex oh, actually, nobody bid hearts. Mm -hmm. He could either lead the two of hearts or the two of clubs. Six of one half dozen of another. He doesn't know who has the good clubs or the good hearts. Let's say he leads the two of clubs, though. Let's make it a little tougher. North's hand goes down on the table. South makes her plan. What suit is she going to stay away from like poison? What suit is her poison Club. suit? Diamond. Oh. Spades. Spades. Oh. spades. Spades. She's staying away from spades. Oh, she spades. wants her no opponents shot. to she wants her opponents to play the spades. She leads the spades, she leads the king, they get the ace. She leads right. the jack, they get the queen. She's staying away from spades. What's what suit is she gonna push like crazy? Diamond. Diamonds. Diamonds. So the two of clubs gets played. I uh, it doesn't really matter where she gets the club trick. Let's say she takes the king. Nine. East plays low, the three, and south plays low. With me so far? Yeah. yeah. 
she won that in the dummy, correct? Right. Right. She immediately starts playing diamonds. She's got six diamond tricks. She starts oh. with the queen. She starts with the queen of diamonds, Anna from the short side. East plays the three. South plays the two. West plays the four. Please mute yourself, whoever you are. Otherwise, I have to mute everybody. You can't just mute an individual person. What did, right, wait, so what did North lead after? What did North lead? I didn't hear it because somebody Queen was of, I know. Queen of diamonds. Okay, thank you. On it from the short side. Is the 10 of diamonds going to be good? Yep. Yeah, because yep, she's got the ace, the king, the blah, 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 blah. 10 of diamonds from North. Uh, she doesn't have, East doesn't have any more. She could throw off a low club. She's not going to throw off that spade. She likes those spades too much. Uh, oh. Okay, South plays five of clubs. Uh, five of diamonds, I'm sorry, on the 10 of diamonds. And West plays her nine. North now knows because she's counted that all the uh, all the, her opponent's diamonds are out. Right? right. She plays mm -hmm. the eight of diamonds. Um, East can throw off a low spade now. South throws off the seven. It doesn't really matter. West can throw off a low spade. North plays the six of diamonds. South mm -hmm. uh, East throws off a club. South beats it with the jack. Um, West throws off, I don't know, six of spades maybe. And then South gets two more spade uh, club tricks. Do you see, uh, sorry, two more diamond tricks. Do you see yeah. that? Yeah. She's in her hand, she gets the ace and the king. Right. So, so just to speed things along, she got six diamond tricks all together. Mm -hmm. See that? Yes. Yes. She got the king of clubs. She's gonna get the ace of clubs. She's still in control, so she can still decide what to leave. So that's six tricks and diamonds. The ace and king of clubs is eight. Now she's going to end up back in her hand and she's going to get the ace and king of hearts. Right. That's 10 okay. tricks. And she will never touch the spade. <laughs> wow. Never touch the spade. And and once she once she loses, once she gets the ace and king of hearts, whatever she plays next, they're going to get. And the contract plays, is three, three no trump, right? So, so she are, made she made right, an over trip. Right, right, an over trip. She's gonna lose the spades if she leads them. She's gonna lose the hearts after the ace and king. So what? They get three tricks. Mm -hmm. Probably one heart trick and two spades. Wow. Makes the contract. All right. Damon. God help us. What did you mean by lead from the short side? Okay. The diamonds. All right, let me show you that real quickly. No problem. Because I thought you take the fourth from the top. You're talking about a lead. I'm, I'm talking about playing the hand. All right, let's just go over the uh, honor from the short side. You said, lead, you said lead from the short side. That yes, yes, yes. I will tell you what, I thought I taught you that, but if I didn't, I apologize again. I, I teach this. To a, you know, at different levels to different classes. So I may have thought I taught it to you. Ace King Jack seven five two. Okay. So you see, she's got winners here and here, right? Mm -hmm. Right. It's got the Ace, the King, the Queen, the Jack, the Ten, the Nine. I gave her everything. Which? This is the dummy. This is Declara. Which hand has more diamonds? The dummy or the declarer? The declarer. I should ask every question I ask should be that easy, right? Right. <laughs> so we're gonna call declare, uh, we're gonna call dummy hand short side because it has fewer cards. Is that Judith who asked me that question? Yes, yes thank right. you. Do you understand that, th that this is the short side? Right, I just didn't know why you wouldn't do the eight instead of the queen. Okay. Oh, we went through this. I'm oh, sorry. Because you you want to you want to take the honor first. You do, you want to make sure you have a little card here to go back to these. You don't want to be stuck. You don't want to be stuck here. Okay. 
you want to have you want to end up with a little card here so you can get back to these big ones sort of mm -hmm. like that question that woman asked before about beating the the um the king with the ace remember that way back then yeah, yeah. okay and a similar thing would be if you had something like this You want to take your first trick with this jack. Right. Then you have a little one to get back to these. Because if you do it in reverse and you take ace and throw up a little one, then a king and throw off a little one, and then you decide I'm going to take the two and throw off the jack, you how are you going to get back to the others? Yeah. Or if you play, or if you do it the other way, ace, king, queen, you're gonna throw off a jack on the queen, you're gonna waste it. So start with the, the honor from the short side, the high card from the short side, then play a little card from the short side to the big cards on the long side. Does that answer your question? Judith, you have another yes. question? No. Okay. All right, so stamen in 11 minutes. Nobody has ever taught stamen or understood stamen in 11 minutes, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Wow. Peter, are you here to tell me my time's up? Don't say that. You shut the oven off? The yes, oven. I shut the oven off. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yourself. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I did so, realize my mic was on. That's okay. As long as your mic is on, you might as well sing a song. All right. Let's read through stamen together. Stamen and Jacoby, which is next week's topic, they're both responses to a no Trump opening, either one no Trump or two no Trump. So this convention, you know what? Would it bother you if I did Jacoby first? No. I would like to do that first. We're not going to get to finish Jacoby anyway, so I still will be teaching Jacoby next week. So why don't you skip to page 18? I think I should have done oh. that first. Oh, shit. I don't have that. Okay. Someone doesn't have page 18? Yeah, I didn't print it, but that's okay. I'll take notes and I, I know it. No, yeah. then I'm not going to do it. I'm not, I'm not going to put you at a disadvantage. You were prepared to do statement. I'm going to do statement. That's okay. fine. Thank I'm you. not going to do that. I'm not going to do that to you. All right. So your partner opens, I'm not even gonna have you read it. Your partner opens one no Trump or two no Trump. Do they have a five card major? No. Do they have a singleton in a major suit? No. No, they couldn't open no Trump if they did. Okay. Could they have three cards in a major suit? Yes. Could they have four cards in a major suit? Yes. 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 Could they have two cards in a major suit? Yes. yes. Those are the only possibilities. If they open in no Trump, either one no Trump, 15 to 17 points, or two no Trump, 2021 20, points, high card points, they have two, three, or four cards in a major suit. What you're hoping is that you have a fifth. So they open one no Trump. And you happen to have a four card major. Somebody's what would what would you have to have? What would your partner have to have for you to have a fit in a major suit? Four cards. Do you all agree he'd have to have four cards in a major suit for you to have a fit? Yeah. So why did he open no Trump? Because you can't open with four cards in a major. No, because you don't. I just throw in these trick questions sometimes to see if you're, <laughs> to see if you fell asleep. Okay. So answer it. So he opened one no Trump. You are still always hoping to have find a fit in a major suit. So you're going to let him know that you have a four card major and you're going to see if you can find that fit. So here's what you do. And by the way, you have to have eight points to do this. If he opens one no Trump, you need eight points. All right, I'm going to mute everybody. I'm sorry. I have to. It's for everybody's good. Okay. So, the partner opens one no Trump. 15 to 17 points, no five card major. 
You can all hear, hear me though, right? You have eight points plus a four card major. You're gonna let him know that you have a four card major. And here's how you're gonna do it. You're not going to bid your major because if you did, you would be declarer, he would be the dummy, this guy, and his cards would be down on the table, all those beautiful points, right? So you would like him to bid the suit if possible. So you could be the dummy, you should pardon the expression, and your cards will be down on the table. With me so far? Thank you, my dears. Okay, so how are you gonna get him to bid his suit? Well, he's gonna bid his suit to, to let you know that he's got a four card major because you just told him you had a four card major. And this is how you told him. He said one, no Trump. And you said two clubs. He said one, no Trump. You said two clubs. Two clubs does not mean partner, I have clubs. It is a response to his opening bid of one, no Trump. And it says, partner, I have eight points in a four card major. You tell me if you have a four card major too. Okay. So you're now the guy who opened one no Trump. Your partner says two clubs. He's saying, let me know if you have a four card major in between those beautiful 15 to 17 points. And you look down and you see four hearts. Your bid. The next bid you make is two hearts. You just answered his question. He asked you if you have a four card major and you told him you did. If your four card major was spades, you say one no trump, 15 to 17 points, not five card major. He says two clubs, partner, tell me if you have a four card major. You don't have four hearts, but you have four spades. So your next bid is two spades. You answer the question. So far so good? Okay. What if when you opened one no trump, you had four hearts and four spades? You can't bid two things at the same time. So you're gonna bid the lower one. Remember when you respond, you respond with the lower one. So you would say two hearts. So guys, if your partner says one no trump and you use staming and you say two clubs, partner, I got a four card major, do you have one? And they say two hearts, that does not mean they also don't have four spades. They may have both. They may have both. I'm gonna go over this more next time. Okay, what if someone opens one no trump their partner says two clubs. Partner, I'm using stamen. I have, I have eight points and a four card major. Do you have a four card major? You look down and you say, I don't have a four card major. When I opened one no trump, I had three hearts, three spades, four clubs, and three diamonds, and 16 points. You can't bid a four card major. What do you do? There's gotta be a bid that tells your partner, Sorry, I don't have a four card major. That bid is two diamonds. And the way I teach my students to remember that, diamond starts with a D and don't have it starts with a D. One no trump, I have 15 to 17 points in a balanced hand. Two clubs, partner, I hear you one no trump bid. I have a four card major here with eight points. Do you have a four card major? Sorry, two diamonds. I have 15 to 17 points, but there's no four card major here. Once your partner says two diamonds, forget about playing in a major suit. If you have a four card major and he doesn't have a four card major to match you, that means the most you could have in a major suit is seven cards, right? We don't play with seven cards as Trump. We only play with eight cards as Trump, which means that you're probably gonna end up in no Trump. So far, so good? Okay. Now, let's go back. 
Partner opened one, no Trump. You said two clubs, partner. I have eight points in the four card major. Your four card major was hearts. You have no way of telling him that because you don't want to bid it. You want him to bid it. So you say two clubs. He says two hearts. Yes, partner, I do have a four card major. It happens to be hearts. And you go la, 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 because when you had a four card major, it was hearts. That means you have a fit now, right? You have four hearts. And he just told you he has four hearts because he wouldn't bid it unless he had a four card major. You said one no trump with a four card major. You said two clubs, partner, I have uh, eight points in a four card major. He said, here's my four card major. I'm bidding two hearts. You say, great. We both have a four card major in hearts. Whether or not you end up in four hearts or you stay in two hearts is gonna depend on how many points this guy has, okay? We'll talk more about that next time. I would suggest reading over pages 14, 15, looking at the hands on 16 and 17. Okay, uh, I'll take, this will be the last question, Judith. You're gonna get, get the last word today. As soon as you mute, as soon as you unmute. If four hearts and four clubs is the opener and you say four hearts, but he doesn't have it. He has club, he has- No, you don't say four hearts. I know. You say just a say bid that means hearts. you have four hearts. Yeah, bid two hearts. And he, your opponent, your partner does not have two hearts. How do you show him that you also have spades? Okay, he opens one no trump. He says two clubs. He says two hearts. And, and he, his four card major was spades. He will now say no Trump because he doesn't see a fit in the hearts, right? As soon as he says no Trump, he just told his partner, my four card major wasn't hearts because if it was, there would be a fit. So if it's not hearts, it's gotta be spades. So this guy can now go back, can, can now bid his spades. Okay. Make sense? Yes. If the hearts didn't work, then it's gotta be spades. There are only two suits that are major suits. Okay, thank you guys. Have a nice week. Please, um, does anybody need me to stay on with them to show them how to use the reactions button? No, thank you. I'm Have gonna stay weekend. on for another two minutes in case anybody wants me to go over it with them. Thanks, Anne. You're welcome. Thank you so Have a nice much. week. Thank Have you, Anne. Have a good weekend. weekend. You're welcome. Have a nice weekend. Thank Please. you. Thank you. Bye, Thanks. Bye, bye. bye. And when I hit my reactions button yes. on the on the bottom, it has a clapping hands and it has a thumb. Anything, up. any little figure that comes up next to your name, I will assume you're raising your hand. So I could do a thumbs up like that. Whatever makes you happy. Yes, because right, I don't. I have will a... know you're raising your hand. Okay, okay. I don't have a. Ra okay. But what I can't do is I can't have people going like this because if no. their face okay. is not on the screen. I won't see this. Okay. All right. All right. Because mine just has clapping and thumbs up. All right. Thank mine you. Has, you have a deficient reactions button. Yes, I, I do. I hit the reaction button. I just hit it again and you don't see it because no. I have. Do you see okay. it? Okay. So what? No, there's nothing next to your name. But it's in so front of me. It's in front of me. I see it says raise. You me. hit the reactions button, right? Yes, I did. Do you see my name on the participants list? No. If you go what to happened? participants, what you'll happened? see my name. I click on the, I, you're, you're seeing the raised hand. Are you clicking on the words raise hand? I hit you have to click on the words raise hand and then yes. you see a little. Oh, yes. You I, now you did it. Okay. That's why I didn't see it before because you oh, never clicked okay. on it. But I hit reaction. Thank that's you, Lois. That's you why. clicked it, but you have to, you have to then oh. click on the, on the raise oh, hand. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And did okay. you have a question? I see a little something next to your name. No, nobody has a question. Nobody has anything. It's got very quiet. If somebody, uh, some, if you're still on, that must mean that you have something to ask me. You have to unmute to do that. Okay, thank you, bye. You're welcome.
Okay, Sari, now you know how to do it. All right, I guess that's it. Have a good one.